The important thing about sports photography is that you try to maintain a high standard. You certainly know when you've got it. And if you're on the right lens, you know, and it's big and bold in the frame, and it's just screaming at you, you know, it's a great feeling. It's kind of why we do it, really. The life of a sports photographer involves plenty of international travel, as well as the privilege of attending events like the FIFA World Cup. It's also a non-stop experience. OK, so here we go, three hours to kick off. Um, it's a pretty tight turnaround today, so hopefully we can get to the ground as quick as possible. There's always a little bit of nervousness, anxiety, you know, we're under a lot of pressure to deliver. You know, those moments only happen for a split second. And, you know, so that's always in the back of your mind. You know, you don't want to miss the key moment that could be the moment of the World Cup. Both camera technology and the way pictures are delivered have moved on considerably since the last FIFA World Cup. The photographers shoot the pictures. The pictures come into these boxes within a few seconds after they were shot and then they're back in Rio de Janeiro for our editors just a few seconds after that. That's our goal. We want to get it off the camera as quickly as we can. Normally at a football match you use two cameras. So you've got the big camera for your, your big and bold action and you've got a shorter lens which you would use for your goal mouth action. A lot of the time celebrations will run into the corner. That's kind of why we're positioned where we are. You need to make very split second kind of decisions. You've got to understand what's going on on the pitch. You've got to know football. You've also got to keep, you know, one eye open as well to know, you know, if you've got a player running into the box, he can either shoot or he can pass to another guy who's running in out of your line of sight. So if you know football, you understand what could happen. That picture would have sent from Clive. Mark would have edited it, and Mike over the far side would have captioned it and sent it out on the feeds to aware clients globally. Getting up at half past two in the morning to shoot an early game, you sometimes sit there and think, why do I do this, <laughs> you know? But then when you get that shot, it's just brilliant, and you can leave the ground and you're like, I've done it, you know? It's great, and that, and that carries you through.